diversity is a value. It's not a priority or a task. And the value is, is that we understand, accept, explore, and legitimize the real differences that exist around the world. It means uh, recognizing the differences uh, that people bring to the party and fully appreciating those differences as it relates to leading, managing, and directing uh, a company. Diversity to me means you're trying to make democracy work by making sure that all segments of the population are represented at the table, at the tables of power, at the tables where decisions are made. The real diversity agenda is how am I going to create the environment for inclusiveness where everyone is being pushed to their full potential. Bernard is, is very bright and he has a very good heart and he's a problem solver and he relates to people well. And the combination of, of all of that uh, makes him a very effective leader. There's no question that with my um, rich African-American heritage, with my upbringing in a predominantly uh, African-American community, what I have been taught and how I have made sense out of my world um, has been an asset uh, in the bigger environment. I'm uh, Steve Reineman. I'm the Dean of uh, Business School here at Wake Forest University and a uh, retired Chairman and CEO of PepsiCo. Diversity uh, is a cultural and strategic objective, at least I believe it is, and therefore it really has to be driven by uh, by the leaders. In those years, developing products that appeal to ethnic groups not only sold to those ethnic groups, but they became increasingly popular to the general population. Well, if you don't have the ethnic groups represented in your product development teams, it's pretty hard to actually develop those products. So for us, we saw real demonstrated results in the marketplace. So I'm Gordy Bannister, President and CEO of ERA Energy LLC. ERA is the largest privately held oil and gas company in America. When I first came into the business and came into the industry, there weren't very many people like me. So there's a lot more now than there were before, but there are actually still not very many who, who get to this level. In my first six months of working, I'm walking, I'm, here I am, a proud engineer, graduate, and I'm walking down the hallway and I have a tie on and a short sleeve shirt and somebody asks me to handle their mail. All those different experiences that I've had, uh, positive and negative, have brought a certain degree of resiliency to who I am. And I bring that to my work. So the importance of having people uh, who are diverse at all levels of the company is that you don't have any smoke-filled room stories and you have people who have different diverse backgrounds in every conversation. The African-American talent pool is deep and it's strong. There's a lot of successful African-Americans not only in the corporate world but also as entrepreneurs so that means people can do it. But what I think we lack in corporate America overall is that chemistry. Executives have to reach out to African Americans, have to reach out to people of color and people of other cultures and actually get to know them, understand how they are. We're probably at a point where we're just about to break out and now it's more important than ever for the leaders to say this is really important and to make sure that we can get it over the goal line because the talent is, is rising. There are many more Bernard Tysons out there. I have been very fortunate. I have been in the right place at the right time, sponsored and supported by the right people. Uh, I have been given great opportunities to prove that one, I know a few things and I'm capable of learning. If you go down the path of collaboration, if you go down the path of inclusion, if you go down the path of acceptance, you end up with some really powerful, positive outcomes. The more you believe in diversity, the better your country will be, the richer your country you will be, the more politically stable your country will be, and the more you'll be maximizing the talents of people. But you have to have an open mindset. You have to really legitimize the differences. 
and find a way through that process and not think about it in a narrow context. If you do, it's huge. What Kaiser Permanente is trying to do and what I'm trying to do and what the leadership is trying to do is to create that environment where brilliant people can do brilliant things.